<laughs> oh, hello there. You've just caught me in the middle of entertaining some guests and not partaking in an elaborate fantasy because I've not really had much chance to interact with others socially this year and it's um, really starting to take its toll. But whilst I've got you, I might as well show you all the models that I've painted in the last few months. Also, no, you can't see my guests. They, um, they go to another school. First up is an old Arbite that was in the batch of old models sent by Shanus. I went with a gold scheme since I thought that would be fun since it's not a colour you usually see them in. Gives them a bit of a Custodes vibe which I quite like. This model is from the first batch of them in 1991 so it's a slightly different design to the 1993 ones that are a bit more common to see these days. Now we have a batch of minis painted for the laser burn video we did over on the main channel. These are 50mm models, so they're pretty tiny compared to the usual 40k minis I paint. This first one is an Imperial Officer, then we have an Imperial Trooper with a heavy bolt gun. To get the red, I painted them in Mephiston Red, then covered them in Flesh Tear as contrast, and then dry brush Mephiston Red over that. I don't think that would give enough depth on a larger model, but it seemed to work okay on these tiny chaps. Next we have an Imperial Power Armor Trooper, who is a bit bulkier than those previous ones. I quite like the little visor he's got. Painting it gold gives it some moon landing spacesuit vibes, which I think is pretty fun. Then we have a Dreadnought model, which is bigger again. If you want to know why Laserburn has Dreadnoughts as well, just, just go watch that Laserburn video we did, it explains everything. This also means I managed to maintain my paint a Dreadnought in each video thing for four videos in a row now, even if by this point I'm somewhat pushing the definition of what counts as a Dreadnought model. Finally, for the laser burn stuff anyway, I have a power armoured Frug, which is one of the alien races from the game. I tried to paint this one based on the canonical colours that are mentioned in the laser burn rulebooks, and I even put some very tiny Fs on the shoulders. F for Frug. I know they wouldn't use our alphabet or anything, but it amused me and I wondered if I could just paint an F that tiny. The answer is yes. I got all these from the Alternative Armies website, with some of them being for as little as 40p, so if you fancy like painting some of these then go for it, they're not exactly going to break the bank. Next up is a couple of models I got free when making those laser burn orders. They are Prezurovich's Infantry Savant Zombies. Whatever that means. They're from a game called Flintlock that I know basically nothing about beyond it's called Flintlock. This model is called Trooper Bolshov and the next one is called Trooper Vodkovich. Not sure why I decided to paint these models over ones that I actually have bought and will use in games, but hey, there was something different, I suppose. Bolshov ended up being a little bit shiny, I think because I didn't properly wash the resin before painting them, but oh well. It was free and painting them kept me busy for an evening. Finally for this video, we have a Defcopter, or more accurately a jet bike that's the product of one of my sudden desires to build something with whatever spare parts I had to hand. Something that feels very on brand when you decide to build something orky, it has to be said. It's made from a little bit of everything, but the main body is a Storm Talon engine and a Knight Thermal Cannon, with the rider being an old fantasy goblin wolf rider... um... rider. It's partially inspired by Ray's speeder bike from The Force Awakens since big engine with a seat felt like something my grots would be very into. So in the last two months I've not painted a huge amount, just nine models, but after the sheer amount of grots I've painted this year I decided to have a little bit of a break from painting and I've only just gotten back into doing it regularly again. Still, this means my current totals for this year are 118 models painted to 114 bought which means I've painted exactly double the minis I painted last year, which is neat. Also, since the next log will be the last one of 2020, I thought it would be fun to do a little Q&A on the end, so if you have any questions for me related to these videos or what I've painted, then ask me it in the comments of this video and I'll answer a handful of them at the end of the next video. So until then, take care of yourselves.